dear students we are talking about the nomenclature of alkanes and we have discussed the first rule that is you have to locate the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms in order to know the parent name now the parent name of the compound will be according to that particular longest chain now the second rule is that now the number of now you have to number numbering will be uh, continued now the numbering will be uh, will begin from the end of the chain which is near to the substituent substituent is an extra group other than your chain every group which is present other than your longest chain which you have already located in the rule number 1 that will be known as substituent for example let us draw that heptane again now this was your parent compound heptane this extra group which is present this is known as substituent this will be substituent that extra group okay now since this is a longer the longest part and this is a smallest part and the smallest part is closer to the substituent so you will continue the counting from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 now let us see the rule number 3 now the rule number 3 says that use the numbers obtained by applying the rule number 2 to designate the location of substituent group it means that here you will locate where the substituent is present for example we have here methyl group attached to carbon number 3 so this will be obvious that the substituent is present at carbon number 3 now when you are naming the compound you will place the parent name at last and substituent first and the numbering or the position of substituent before substituent for example if you name this compound it will be like this 3 methyl heptane 3 methyl sorry methyl heptane this will indicate that a methyl group is present at third carbon of a heptane chain you will separate the number from the words with a hyphen this is rule number 3 now let us discuss rule number 4 rule number 4 says that when two or more substituents now it is not necessary that always one substituent is present now if two or more substituents are present give each substituent a number corresponding to its location on the longest chain for example here i i have an example now this is the longest chain according to the rule 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 this will be the longest chain it means our compound will be a 6 carbon it will be a hexane now we will see the nearest closest part to the substituent now this is the shortest distance as compared to this one or as compared to this one so we will start numbering from here this will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 now you will name accordingly 2 methyl 
sorry the naming will be according to alphabetical order this is ethyl group and this is methyl group so as e comes before m so it will be 4 ethyl 2 methyl hexane first of all you will locate according to the length of carbon chain and then you will number it then the naming will be according to alphabetical order now let us discuss some more rules <coughs> 